Welcome to John Jay College from Military and Veteran Services. I am Dick Prisateri, the Military and Veteran Services Manager. In this video, Jenna Cantor, our college assistant, will introduce you to a John Jay resource critical to your academic success. This video is using the John Jay College Blackboard. John Jay College Blackboard is open on the CUNY First login webpage. On the John Jay College website at jjay.cuny.edu, click on Web Apps at the top of the page. Under CUNY Services, you're going to click on Blackboard and then click Login to Blackboard 9 directly. Use your CUNY First login information to log into Blackboard. Once logged in, your Blackboard home screen enables you to see your courses, see the books you need, your organizations, your announcements, and many other options. Some of the Blackboard main page's important features include, you can find class information by clicking on the individual courses listed on the left side of the page, such as found here. The online bookstore is found by clicking Take Me to the Online Bookstore, which lists the textbooks you need for your classes. You can access the online bookstore by many ways. This is just one of them. Once you click Take Me to the Online Bookstore, log in with your CUNY First account credentials, the same credentials used for CUNY First in Blackboard. Once here, you can view and order all of your necessary textbooks for your courses. Please note you aren't required to buy your textbooks on this website. Consider cheaper options for getting textbooks, such as renting them or buying used. Once the screen loads, you can see all the textbooks that you need for your courses. To add it to your cart, click Add to Cart, and you can check out. Tools offers many different helpful links, such as an option to use a different email address other than your John Jay email to receive announcements from your professors. Click Update Email. Complete the information using the email that you would like to use. Re-enter it and click Submit. And then your Blackboard announcements will be emailed to the desired email address instead of your John Jay College email address. Scroll down to find free resources available to you, including a Dropbox account, Microsoft Office 365, and CUNY Virtual Desktop. You can even find the link to download the Student Blackboard app found below. If Blackboard prompts you to join a course or organization by manually typing in a code, search for the course or organization on the left at the bottom of this home page. Here you can search for a course, and below that you can search for an organization. Now I will walk you through navigating a course page to help you get familiar with accessing your course's information. At the top right corner of Blackboard's main home page, you will see your name. Click on the arrow right beside of your name and your courses will be listed. No, if your courses aren't listed for the upcoming semester, don't worry. Sometimes it takes several days until your courses are created or you are added to a course. If by the first day of classes you still have not been added to the course, consult with your professor about it. On the sidebar, you will see five separate tabs. The most important ones are the updates tab, in the Grades tab. Check the Updates tab to see announcements posted by your professors. Check the Grades tab to see grades for individual assignments that your professors have posted. To show how to navigate a course page, I will use multiple of my old courses from previous semesters. I will click on this course and it takes me to that course's dashboard page. On this dashboard page, you see many announcements from the past seven days, any tasks posted by, by your professor, any new posts that you have not yet viewed, and any posted assignments that are past due or will be due in the future. In the blue box on the left, you find the name of the course, the course's dashboard page, 
which we are currently on, any and all announcements that have been posted by your professor during the semester, course information, the syllabus and other information related to the logistics of this course, and faculty information, such as contact information for your instructor or instructors, including their office location, office phone number, and professional email. You also find course materials, where, which is where you find the syllabus if it is not listed under course information, as well as downloadable PDFs or Word documents, videos, links, or reading materials for the course. Discussion board is where you access discussion boards for the course. And many times there's a assignments tab as well, which is where your professor posts assignments for you to turn in virtually rather than in person. And my grades, where you find your grades for this course. Note, some professors add additional sections to the blue side tab. As Blackboard is customizable and may change depending on the instructor's pre preferences. To download PDFs or other materials listed under Course Materials, click the Course Materials tab. There are two types of downloads on Blackboard. For some, you will click beside Attached Files to download the document. For others, you download or view the file or link by clicking on the title name, as you see here, for example. You click on the title name. To submit an assignment, discover where the assignment is located, typically under the Assignments tab on the left. Once you find the assignment you want to submit, click on the assignment's title, such as Extra Credit Concert 2. You can either submit a written submission by clicking Write Submission and typing in your response. Or you can submit an attached file from your computer as a submission for this assignment by clicking Browse My Computer, find, this, find the document that you would like to submit, and click Attach. Once it's attached, you can click you can't see it on my screen here, but you're going to click Submit. To submit a discussion board comment, click on the Discussion Board tab on the left of your course page. Click on the Discussion Board title listed under Forum. There, you can create a discussion board thread, read the discussion board comments submitted by your classmates, and respond to other discussion board comments. To create a discussion board thread, click on Create Thread. Then, enter your thread subject title and the body of your discussion board. Then, scroll down. And once you're finished, you can click Submit. To reply on a discussion board thread, click on the title of the thread under Forum. And then click on the title that you would like to respond to, such as APA Citation and Posts. After you've clicked on the title of the thread in which you want to respond, click Reply. And once you have finished typing in your response, you can click Submit. To view your grades, click on the arrow down beside your name at the top right of the Blackboard page. And then you're going to click on the fourth icon down titled My Grades. You can view grades for individual courses and individual assignments by clicking there. To log out, click the power icon at the top right corner of the page. When you hover over it, it will say Log Out. Click this button to log out of your Blackboard account. Thank you for watching and check out our other videos for further help navigating and using the other John Jay College programs and websites.